do this. Are you Black Adamon, you alright? You good? My ear is so itchy all of a sudden. There we go. That's better. Hello, guys. Rest hour. Talk to Gururumon to see what he says. We already did that last stream. He still says the same thing he said the whole time. We gotta, like, proceed the main story for him to want to do anything else. Don't mind me. I just want to get a little more HP and MP back by walking. And I'm gonna grab... I know there's, like, a stone material up here. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Yeah, give me this. Mine. Thank you. Who's excited for E3, chat? Isn't E3... We're in June now. It's June 1st as of this stream. The day I'm streaming this. E3 is, like, in a couple of weeks, right? Like, two or three weeks? I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty excited for Square Enix's uh, conference. I'm hoping they show us some really cool stuff about FF16 and maybe some other stuff. I know all those rumors are going around about, like, they're making some kind of new Final Fantasy game for PS5. I am, I am very, very intrigued. I want to know more. I want to know. Although, to be honest, Square Enix's stuff is probably, like, the only thing I'm really interested in. I'll watch the Nintendo Direct as well, of course. Maybe we'll finally get some news on Breath of the Wild too. but who knows. It's June 12th to 15th. Oh, it's literally two weeks away. That's awesome. I didn't realize it was that close. Why does E3 have to happen literally like two days after the FF7 DLC and the new Ratchet and Clank game? I'm dying. <laughs> it's too much all at once. Guess will you platinum FF16 on stream? I have no earthly idea. I don't commit to 100%ing things unless I know what needs to be done to 100% them and then I'm willing to do it on screen. Hi, Vegemon. No, 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 not two of you at once, only one. Stop this. Having two Digimon in a fight at the same time? Filthy cheaters, who would do that? That's madness. Hello. Can't touch this. Meow, meow. Kitty cat. Come on, Black Adamon, get the lightning paw. Get the lightning paw, you fool. I accidentally focused on Salamon there when I didn't want to. Oh, you have like no HP. Die. Thank you. Bum, bum. Look at that exactly 6,000 MP on Salomon. That's crazy. Look at these stats for a champion and a rookie. This is insane. Actually crazy. They weren't trying to cheat you in a fight. They just wanted to get you more footsteps so you can heal more with healthy. You know what? That's very kind of them. What nice Vegemon. They're very wise. As it turns out. Just like we thought. Hi, Vegemon. These Vegemon are, like, slightly stronger than the other Vegemon. I should go fight the other ones. I've let you take a little too much damage. Have this heal. Oh, they both got hit with that. Nice. This camera angle makes it very hard to, like, time Black Adamon's nightmare attack. Goodbye. Oh my goodness, have I really already been streaming for 50 minutes? I feel like nothing has happened. <laughs> it does not feel like it's been 50 minutes. That's crazy. Hi, Vegemon. Stop getting hit. 
Salamon. Just stop it, forehead. Let's use this. This is it. Easiest mock jab timing of my career. Get lightning pod. to think after we get uh after we get to ultimate and champion here like once salamon is gatamon and then black gatamon becomes uh lady devamon that might honestly be enough for us to just go ahead and like continue i don't think we really need to like try and heavy stack grind against anything at that point we can probably just like hit up the gym a bit and then get going. Like try and force them to mega faster. Easiest combo of my career. Keep it going. Keep it going. Let's see you guard this. Oh wait, I can't use it yet. Just a moment. I'll be right with you. I literally just need to press X one more time. Alright, guard this forehead. You gonna use only the seven demons? No, I we're trying to get Lilithmon and Ophanimon. Thanks to Chaos, I too use forehead when talking to friends. <laughs> Let's go. I don't say it that often outside of streams, to be honest. <laughs> Salomon sadly is not really getting very much HP and MP anymore. Getting a little bit, but not much. Black Adamon is still getting plus seven wisdom. This is madness. Salomon has broken 1,500 on all the other stats. This day is getting very close to being over. I think at this point, we just go until the, the in-game day naturally runs out. And then when the in-game day runs out, we uh, go back to town. And then we just get them to Digivolve ASAP. Salomon, I can't help but notice I looked at the last second. Your HP is pretty low. Please don't get injured. Getting injured is lame. Only only nerds and losers get injured. That's all it took. Just throwing a little bit of bullying, saying like, hey, you suck. And then all of a sudden the Digimon is like, I can't afford to get injured here. Let's try to go back to the other slightly easier Vegemon. See if they're still giving plus 26 in every stat to Salomon. We'll also probably do another quick rest hour in the camp. That'll give like plus 10% or something to HP and MP. I wish the camp gave a little bit more recovery. Not like a ton, but like even just like 20% instead of the usual like 10% would be great. Hi guys. Let's camp it up. What should we do a level up? We should be close. One day y'all cook. One day. That day is not today, but one day. Yeah, like only 10% HP, 9% MP, and then like 18% fatigue. It was ridiculous. Uh, let me see. Look at how much these two Digimon are not fans of each other. They're back down to 35. It's been ages since their friendship has been that low. Granted, one of them is a dog and the other one is a cat, so it kind of makes sense. I was going to look at my tamer level. Oh, we're pretty close to level 39. We're almost there. Probably get to level 39 before we get, uh... Before we get these guys back to Mega. Which will be nice. I don't remember exactly what I was trying to get. I know we... I don't think... We don't have Greater Digivolution yet. I really want Greater Digivolution. It's the last, like, parameter boosting thing we could get. Other than we can max out the training branch so that the training stuff will give a little bit more. Kill it. Kill it. Chaos Cloud, go. 69 order power. I can't be stopped. I've already won. Goodbye. Still giving plus 26. That's all I need to see. Nightmare, go! It is so hard to tell when Nightmare hits to time the button press. 
That is way easier to time. What is this camera angle? What am I on a wildlife retreat, like trying to get pictures of some leopards? What the heck was that camera angle? Bum, bum, bum. Well, Salamon's wisdom is almost as high as I want all of Salamon's stats to be by the end of the day. So, you know, getting there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Good job, team. Good job. How does Sonya's hoodie work? Is it even really a hoodie? Okay, gather out. Like, what is that hoodie section of? Is it even a hoodie or is it like a scarf? Because it doesn't look like it would be an actual hoodie. All right, congratulations. You can have a little bit of meat. Pretty sure your weight is still fine. I don't like that these two Vegemon over here are like side by side. Stop that. How dare you have friends. Get it. Get it. Too easy. It's a hipster bonnet. I hate it. I hate that a lot. Someone get over there and kill that thing. It's got like two HP. Thank you. Still getting plus 26. Getting like no HP and MP anymore on Salomon, which is unfortunate, but it do be that way. We about to hit 2k wisdom on Salomon right here, though, which is very tasty. Fighting these Vegemon is way better because, like, as soon as I get Lightning Paw, like, once I Lightning Paw them, they're basically dead. I have no clue how clothing works. What's a bonnet? A bonnet is that thing that you would see, like, you know what a, like, an old-time milkmaid looks like? Like, if you, if someone was like, this is a milkmaid from the 1800s, and she has that white thing on top of her, like, over her head to cover her hair? That, that is a bonnet. I believe. I'm fairly certain that's a bonnet. Otherwise, I don't know what a bonnet is, and I don't know what I'm describing. But I'm fairly certain that is a bonnet. There are like more modern looking bonnets nowadays, I'm fairly certain, but like when I, whenever someone says bonnet, that's what I think of. This is a milkmaid. <laughs> Go away. Thanks, Chaos. You're welcome. I'm here to educate. Clearly, if you've been watching my content for a long while, you know that it's very important to me that uh, all of my viewers, like, truly learn something and gain knowledge from being a part of these streams. That's, that's really what it's all about. That's what we're here for, is to learn. Why do these Digimon sound like they're wearing spring shoes? You're almost wiser than those Vegemon. Let's not get crazy here. Those are some pretty wise Vegemon. Like, they're pretty intelligent, I gotta say. Hello! Why did I come back over here to fight you instead of immediately doubling back, which is what I should have done? Yo, did Salomon just take, like, only 10 damage from that thing? Is Salomon reached that level of defense now? I love it. They're wearing Nickelodeon moon shoes. Oh, did you guys see the thing about the, uh... That's something we can talk about very shortly, because I don't really want to talk about it much. But, uh, that iCarly reboot had a trailer or whatever released today that's coming out in, like, two weeks or three weeks. Jerry Trainer has not aged a single day. I actually think they might have put Jerry Trainer in like a cryopod to keep him perfectly preserved until they needed him for another another television series and they just released him for this iCarly reboot. It's like the only thing that makes any sense. Can you keep your eyes open? I did that slightly too early, Rick. It's it's the only thing that makes any actual sense. The man looks the exact same as he did the last time I saw him on television. Nice 
Yeah, I didn't actually watch the trailer of the iCarly thing. I just saw that there was one. All I know is that there's no Gibby, so what's the point? Also, reboots of old uh, popular shows, cartoon, or live action are almost always bad. So, Unless a bunch of people watch it and say it's amazing, I probably won't even bother. Even if a bunch of people watch it and say it's amazing, I probably still won't bother watching it. I was never a huge iCarly fan. Like, I watched it when it aired, but it wasn't, like, one of my favorites. I was, I was always more of a Drake and Josh dude. Excuse me, sir, you have one HP, please die, thank you. Hey Spencer, what you got there? A smoothie. Absolute classic scene. Wow, that Chaos Cloud actually hit? Is that the Chaos Cloud that hit there? Oh, I know what I wanted to talk about video game-wise. I wanted chat to tell me because I didn't actually realize, but, like, apparently the other day or something, they, uh... They announced that they're, like, doing a remaster or, or something of, um... Of Sonic Colors? Is that true, chat? I saw that trending, and it looked really real, but I didn't actually look into it. Oh, uh, good luck at the dentist, Kari. I hate going to the dentist. It's working! If so, does that have a release date? When is it? Because I love the Sonic Colors. I never did it on the channel. I, like, had it on my Wii, I think, back before. Sonic Colors is old, right? Like, I'm pretty sure I played Sonic Colors, like, back on my Wii before I had a YouTube channel. Like, I have not played it in ages. I barely remember anything about it, so I think it'd be really fun to do on the channel. But I, like, I definitely want to play that Sonic Colors remake, remaster, whatever it is. It came out back in, like, 2010. Yeah, I played that game when it was new, back in the day. So we will we will definitely be doing Sonic Colors on the channel whenever that comes out. I can't wait. Man, first Skyward Sword, and now they're also giving us Sonic Colors? It's, like, it's amazing. It did come out in 2010. Nice. I didn't know Sonic existed back in 2010. Sonic is, like, as old as Mario? Maybe not quite that old? Like, when when did Sonic first become a thing, Chad? It was back on, like, the Sega Genesis, right? And, like, the Genesis... What, what era was the Genesis? Was the Genesis, like, around the, uh... The SNES era? Or the 64 era? The first Sonic was 1992. Sonic is older than Pokemon. Sonic Colors comes out September 7th this year. Yo. That is awesome. I have something to do in September now. Oh, there's a bathroom right over here. Yeah, Sonic has been around, like, before I was born. I guess some people just don't realize because Sonic has had such, like, a, a bad track record with games in the past, like, decade or so. But, like, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog is, like, one of the most titular, like, video game characters in history. Like, he's right up there with all of the other most popular video game characters, like Mario, Link, like, your, your standard Nintendo, like, household names. Like, Sonic was right there. He's just, like, he's just as famous. His games just don't sell as well. <laughs> but Sonic, like, Sonic diversified a lot more because, like, Sonic had a bunch of cartoons. It had comics. Like, so Sonic is a full-on franchise. I think a lot of people also don't realize that Sonic is way more than just video games. It is almost time for these Digimon to go to bed. But we've gotten Salomon up to, like, 1,900 in stats. We can get up to, like, 2,000 by using the gym to skip the next day to get them to Digivolve. You're nowhere near close enough to be using that move. 
trying to bust or dive from like eight miles away. Goodbye. 